So I made an LCS run yesterday, and the pickings were still slim. Uh, but I did manage to put together a pretty good silver haul. We're going to go over that in a great mail call that you won't want to miss, so stay tuned. Well, what do you say, YouTube? How you doing? Welcome to another edition of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. Uh, as always, I can't thank you enough for taking a few minutes out of your day to check out the new video. And if you'd like to help support this channel, well, all you gotta do is take a jab at that thumbs up button. Scribble out a quick comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, don't be afraid to give that bell a ring if you'd like to know when the next video drops on this channel. Um, it's been a great ride. You guys have been fantastic. I've really enjoyed the year plus that I've been on YouTube. And uh, we're just plugging forward, plugging forward. Really appreciate you guys. All right, so I hit the LCS yesterday, and pickings are still slim. He managed to get, bring out some stuff that I didn't have. A lot of the Scottsdale Eastern Caribbean series that I've been uh, trying to collect. And I did find a bunch that I didn't have, so I guess it was a productive trip. I picked up some coins that I was missing out of that series. So, you know, not bad. Pretty productive. We'll take it. We'll take it. But he understands that I've had to go online for a lot of my uh, weekly silver fixes. He just doesn't have, you know, a whole lot of variety for me to pick from lately. And it is what it is. I'm sure he's not the only one struggling with that. But anyway, we're going to get into those coins. But before we do that, we got a really cool mail call coming at you. So hang in there. Jamail! Jamail is here! Woo! And we're going to knock out this mail call real quick. Our first one comes from Maryland. And this is none other than Capital Currency. And he gave us a whole whole swag envelope full of decals. Regular hologram. His older one, another hologram, and a magnet. These are so cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you sending that. That's awesome. Uh, he did put a note in there. A really fantastic note. So, um... I'm going to kind of refrain from reading that one. It was a really nice note, and we'll just keep that one between he and I. But, um, yeah, you need to go visit his channel. He doesn't uh, he doesn't post a whole bunch of videos, but when he does, they're really well done and really interesting. So go give him a look if you haven't. And the link, of course, to both of these mail calls is going to be in the description. So Capital Currency, thank you, my friend. Very nice. I appreciate it. Next up, last but not least from Slate Hill, New York. None other than Patriotic Stacker. Uh, this was a uh, gaw that he did. A really fantastic gaw. And somehow I managed to win. I don't know. I don't know how, but let's see what we got in here. Let's move that back. Uh, we got a decal for Aloha Stacker. How you doing, Aloha? <laughs> Random. Uh, he stuck in one of his own, which I've always liked. Very cool decal. And the gaw was, this is a 2022 Tuvalu Black Flag series. And it's a beauty. It's a doozy. These were limited to just 15,000, so, and they're already sold out online. The only place you're going to find these is on the secondary. But how cool is that? Uh, the, the ship is the Rising Sun, and it was, cap it was captained by, uh, by William Moody, who was born in London, of all things, as, uh, as were most pirates back in the day. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he piloted this ship till about 1719 uh, until the mutiny <laughs> kind of put him out to sea with a couple other guys. And they were left for dead, just floating along in the middle of the ocean. So, rumor has it he did make it back to uh, New Providence and received a king's pardon. How that happened, I'll never know, but check that out. Really sweet coin. And um, I'm very, very thankful to get that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Patriotic. Very, very cool guy. Very generous. Uh, again, go see Patriotic if you haven't somehow subscribed to him. You need to. Uh, go check him out. He's got some great content, great videos, and great guy. Um, he was one of the first ones uh, to help support my channel. So go over and check him out. Both of these channels are worth your time. And that is going to wrap up our mail call for today.
All right, moving on. Let's go into these finds from the LCS. The first four I'm getting ready to show you are not actually from the Eastern Caribbean series. They're independent, but they're still made from the Scottsdale Mint. So let's get rolling on that. First one, we have a seahorse from Samoa. So this is limited to 15,000 back in 2021. That's a beautiful coin. It really is. And just a simple background with the Samoan seal. Pretty awesome. So 15,000 of these, low run. We've got another seahorse from the Barbados. And these were even more limited. Uh, there were only 10,000 of these put out. And nice back, nice background, almost proof. Sticking in the Barbados, we've got the Trident. Awesome. I know M2 will be loving this one. But uh, this one had a run of 30,000. And nice little background there. Again, just a simple seal. It's beautiful. And the last one is from the Congo. It's the Silverback Gorilla. I'm not sure I'd want to cross him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Uh, this one had a bigger run of 75,000. So not as limited as the other ones, but no less. Still very nice. Very nice coin. Next, we're going to roll into the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank series. Uh, these, these coins here that I'm getting ready to show you are all limited to 25000 and they're from the Scottsdale Mint, and they came encapsulated. So not a bad value at just over 23 apiece, I believe I paid for them. Not bad at all. But let's roll through these really quickly. Uh, first one is from St. Kitts. Almost a proof background, but you got a shipwreck, a couple of sharks. This is from 2021. And this side is going to be the same for all the coins, so I'm not going to show them but one time. So there you have it, St. Kitts for 2021. Beautiful finish on that. Next up, we're going to St. Vincent, and that is the Humpback Whale. Another beautiful finish on that. We're going to go over to Montserrat. Boy, these things are reflective, aren't they? 2021, and you've got a blue angelfish there. Very cool. Next one, we're going to the Dominica. And I believe those are lovebirds, something like uh, Cicero, Cicero lovebird, something like that. I don't know, but good detail on that. Very nice. Uh, this one I'm not crazy about, but I only picked it up because I needed it. Uh, this is from St. Lucia and it's the whiptail lizard. Uh, again, not real crazy about it. You see the lizard and you see the uh, rose of St. Lucia. So I don't know, just not one of my favorites, I guess. And the last one from this set, this is, which, uh, where's this from? Grenada, Grenada. And this is a single scuba diver surrounded by a school of rainbow runners. Very cool. All right, so that's the Eastern Caribbean series. And my last pickup was nine more of the Scottsdale reserve rounds from 2020. Really nicely done. Uh, got latent images all over this coin. 2020, the lion. Flip it over you in each one of the rays of light you have a, a different you've got another latent image so really cool so i picked up nine more of these and uh i like these i really do i like these a lot so not too bad so i picked up nine of those and uh that's it that's it for the lcs visit all right there you have it some pretty good finds despite the uh the wasteland that is my lcs lately <laughs> Uh, but that's going to wrap up another episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And uh, if you made it this far, well, kudos to you. It is Friday. We've got a weekend ahead of us. You guys make sure you stay safe, be well, and I will catch you in the next episode. But in the meantime, you know the drill. Damn right. Get stacked. Stay safe. Be well. I him out of here peace people <laughs>